All right, scrappers, welcome back to the channel. Yesterday, just before the snow hit, uh, I went out to the excavator who tore down the barn and seen what he had laying around there and it was about 19 degrees outside so we just flung everything in the back of the truck and he said just take it with you don't worry about weighing it he says weigh it up when you get in your warm shop and uh, then I got to go back out and pay him so here's an extension cord I was hoping this wasn't an extension cord but it was and it's only a it's only a two wire cord Let's see if I can get it on here so that's uh, 12 pounds 10 ounces We're just gonna say 13, 13 pounds. We'll round up for him. And then we got uh, this stuff is really small and it's it's only two wires in it. Really isn't gonna be worth scrapping or stripping. Um, I took a little piece off and and stripped it by hand and yeah it's it's nothing that's gonna strip through the stripper so it'll just basically go in our cord bucket so we'll take this off of there and put it in the cord bucket 12 pounds of cord food There we go, 12 pounds of cord food. Then back here in the trailer, so I just took the stuff off my truck and threw it in here into the trailer. We got a little bit of Romex. We got another extension cord. Um, I did the same thing to this one. Cut a little chunk off and this one here isn't gonna be, uh, be strippable either. But then we got one length of this stuff and it's uh looks like number 10 wire inside it three three wires i did the same thing took a little piece off and stripped it by hand and tried some of those through the stripper and it worked so this one i will definitely be able to strip so now what i need to do is uh Get in here with the with the cable cutter and cut all this cable up. Also, under here is a bunch of uh, a bunch of copper tubing, water pipe stuff, and uh, yeah, we ain't gonna make a lot on it because it's you know he could just take it in himself. But I told him I'd buy it. And then he had these, <laughs> these radiators. I don't know what he did. If he ran over them with the... He ran over them with a big uh, truck or what? But there's water froze inside of them. Or something, because they're heavy as a cow. Here's the other end of that cable that we could strip and then some miscellaneous junk some electrical boxes and all of that I'll probably do a separate video on those just because they're old and some of them got fuses in it we'll see how much coppers in them so yeah I need to cut this stuff up into lengths so I can get it on the scale and weigh it up there was two of these radiators I don't know what the heck he drove over that that had that pattern in it but we'll cut them up and 
clean the noodles off and all of that stuff. Then he had this thing. And I'll tell you, if you ever, if you ever lifted a cow or something, this, this thing's heavier. It took two of us to lift it up and get it onto the truck. It's an old, very old, old welder. And it's missing one wheel. But I'm gonna do a separate, separate video on this because I, uh, I need to keep track of it. Everything, because I just told him, I said, how about we do this? I said, we'll just, I'll take it apart and rip it all the way down for a video. And whatever it works out to be, I'll split with you. So that's what we're gonna do with that thing. So with that said, I'm gonna turn the camera off and cut this wire up because you don't wanna sit and watch me do that. And then we'll, uh, when I get it on a scale, we'll weigh it up and see what's there. All right, be back. All right, scrappers, this is that one extension cord that has the three uh, strands in it and they're they're lucky if they're number 12 wire in them. Cannot strip them. Um, and they're stranded wire too. So there's 39 pounds, seven ounces. We're going to uh, round that up to 40 pounds. Write that down. I think that's the last of that cord. And then what we got left is the uh, the larger stuff, which should be better. Now where am I gonna put this crap stuff? In my barrel? Running out of room in there. Well, I'll see what I can do to get this in there. Talk to you when we get the big stuff on the scale. All right, scrappers. This is the uh, the heavier cord with the larger wire in it. I think it might even be number six wire in it. Um, but man, it's gonna be it's gonna be a battle, I think, trying to get it through the stripper. But yeah, this is what we got. 31 pounds, 15 ounces, so we'll say 32 pounds. So that's 32 pounds. And now I got uh, really what we got left here is uh, this stuff here, which is this is all just bare copper wire. And uh, I just got to weigh that up. And then all this copper tubing, it's uh, it's quite a bit here. So yeah, and some of it's got uh, faucets and crap on the end of them. And it's uh, just, you know, just needs to be cleaned up. This, really nothing to do other than cut it into smaller chunks and get it into some type of a container. So yeah, and then that little bit of Romex back there. And these silly old uh, electrical boxes and stuff. So I'll check back in with you maybe when we get the, uh, when I get all this copper tubing and stuff on the scale. All right, scrappers, I just weighed this bucket. And uh, the old Menard's bucket weighs two pounds, two pounds, three ounces. I'm gonna try to cram all this bare copper wire in there. See what we can do here. I can always cut it up after after we weigh it this is the cable that they put on 
the barns that goes up to the uh, goes up to the lightning rods. And I never knew it. Lightning rods are copper, but he, he he wouldn't sell any of those. He says he can resell those for way more money. The weirdest wire you ever saw, man. That looks like looks like all of that. Eleven pounds, six ounces, so nine pounds, three ounces. Yeah, it was funny. I thought that uh, that I was going to get out there and he's going to open up a garage door or something and there's going to be packed full of aluminum wire, but there really wasn't any aluminum that he was wanting to get rid of. So let's grab these... Uh, Let's grab these electrical boxes and throw those on the scale. I'm only going to pay them shred price for this stuff. Just because the value comes in the labor to take all this crap apart. And I know a busy guy like him he ain't going to be sitting there stripping these down. Cause that's not his thing. His thing is to be on a big old backhoe tearing buildings down. So 32 pounds, 32 pounds of sheet iron. Where can we put those until we get around to making a video about them? Stack them up here, I guess. Hello there, my bestest friend. Good. Um, not much. I went and picked up a bunch of scrap from the from that. All right, scrappers. I got all the uh, copper pulled out of the trailer, placed on the scale. I did not go in and cut off the brass. I'm gonna do that afterwards and save it up and deduct that from the copper. Because I think I'm only going to pay them a little over dirty brass for the brass. So, yeah. Anyways, there's uh, 44 pounds, one ounce. 
So next I'm gonna work on cleaning this up, cutting all the brass off, and uh, I'll check back in with you when I get that done. All right, scrappers, I um, got that all cut up. We got uh, one bucket of number one and a bucket, about a half a bucket of number two. We got this here, it's five point, five pounds, five ounces. I'm gonna deduct five pounds from the copper weight. And uh, cause I can't be paying copper weight for brass and aluminum handles and all that kind of stuff. But uh, yeah. So the next thing that's on the list here is this uh, piece of conduit with some wire in it. And of course it's uh, it's kinked right here, so we can't pull the wire out. So I think what I'm gonna do is, is cut that off and see what, uh, what that'll do. Should we maybe, you wanna see me do that? Yeah, I might lose a little bit of copper, but at least we'll get it out of there. Now if I cut it again right here, I think we should be good. Now, hopefully, hopefully we can pull that piece off at the end. Get the oh, one piece of wire came out already. Not gonna grab that because it's probably hot. All right, yeah, that came right off. That's just shred steel. So we got that wire. We got this piece of bear. Now hopefully we can pull these out. All right, there's that. Now I just gotta weigh that up. Ugh. So let's move this stuff from our deduct. <laughs> 
three pounds three pounds more of shred or sheet iron Yeah, so all I got left in here is uh, this crazy Romex and uh, a little more brass breakage there and those things, but those are, they're pro solid with, with water. It keeps running out of this one, but we might not get those done until spring. Because, you know, I don't know what the hell, how the hell to get the water out of them. Unless I set it right in front of the heater or something. So yeah, all right, I'm gonna weigh this wire up. So we got five pounds, one ounce of insulated wire that I can strip. Let's put this over over here in the stripping pile and then this stuff here eleven ounces of bear. Oh boy, found a little more. Don't know if I'm gonna be able to strip this. Look how thin that wire is in there. Eight ounces. Yeah, that might not even be strippable. I think we'll put that on the extension cord. scrappers now now we just got to add all of this up
So brass, br brass, brass breakage, we got uh, 12 pounds, eight ounces. So yeah, the only thing left I got to add up is the uh, Romex. And it's such a, a mess there, I ain't even gonna try to do it in this video. But remember to tell everybody, all your friends about Scrapmeister, like, share the video out. Okay, scrappers, stay tuned for the video about tearing apart the welder. And, and watch one of the really cool videos that's on screen right now.